given enough time, any discussion on YouTube about religion, somebody ends up bringing up uh, Stalin killed millions, you know, for atheism, or someone will bring up the Crusades, or one of the many Inquisitions, uh, someone brings up uh, Islam, invariably, you know, in a short amount of time. Any any discussion of religion devolves into into these worst-case examples uh, that people bring up for religion or atheism. These phenomena were social, political, military. They were all expediencies of the day. And uh, you know, today, just uh, just as an example, just as an example, uh, modern Islam is seen as uh, harboring terrorism, and it's you know, Islam is about terrorism, and that's just that's just not supported by uh, the Holy Quran. It's not supported by the Hadith. That's just not true. L- you know, w- which which image do you think is more likely uh, to be factual? The image of some some uh, Muslim somewhere who feels wronged and searches through the Quran or the Hadith and looks for passages to justify his actions of terrorism of violence, or the other the other option is a Muslim somewhere who is sitting there reads the Quran and says, "Well." Uh, you know, I don't want to go do this. I don't want to go and commit these uh, horrible, uh, uh, horrible crimes against humanity. But here it is. It's in the Quran. I've read it here. You see, t- to me, uh, it makes much more sense, and it's and it's it, it's just obvious to me that people just use these, m- misuse uh, religion and uh, and various scriptures to support their their criminal actions. And, um, you know, to cite this as, well, this is religion that's doing it, that's, that's silly. That's completely missing the point. The, the evil intent is there first, then they use religion, scripture, whatever, to back it up. And so, you know, as, as far as I'm concerned, of course, uh, atheism had nothing to do with, uh, with Stalin, and, you know, the religious motivations... Uh, at, at best, to be charitable, you could say that the religious motivations were perverted in the Crusades or uh, the various Inquisitions or in in Islam. So you know the, the any, anybody who starts throwing in those things into a, into any of the discussions, you know, that's just that's just a big red herring. It's a big red flag for me that that you know someone's just they're being disingenuous. They're either gen they're either genuinely earnest about it and misinformed or they're just being disingenuous because it's it's just so well established i mean heck even the wikipedia articles clearly state the uh, the political motivations of all of these uh, phenomena